Hello and welcome to another CloudWords video. My name is, as always, Mauricio, and today we'll be comparing the top two cloud storage services available today, pCloud versus Sync.com. Both of these regularly top our best cloud storage list year after year. So today we're pitting them against each other to reveal the overall winner. If you want to learn more about cloud storage, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new cloud storage content. So let's dig into the meat of this video. Sync.com and pCloud are both very, very good cloud storage services with some very big differences. Both are secure services that care about your privacy. They are affordable and they have some excellent features, but they do each of those things very differently. So without further ado, let's take a look at what features these services have to offer. Sync.com and pCloud have a lot to offer in the way of features but they focus on vastly different things. Sync.com has more of a professional feature set, while pCloud is focused on entertainment and accessibility. Let's look at productivity first. Sync.com and pCloud both let you rewind files to previous versions and recover deleted files. Sync.com keeps old versions of files for 180 days on its cheapest plans or up to a year on its higher tier plans. On the other hand, pCloud keeps them for up to 30 days, but lets, lets you extend that to a year for an added fee. But Sync.com also has an ace up its sleeve in the form of Microsoft Office integration. It lets you create Office documents right in the cloud interface, and this includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents. So Sync.com has pCloud beat on the productivity front, but what about entertainment? Well, Sync.com doesn't have much to show here. On the other hand, pCloud has the most advanced media player we've seen on a cloud service. It can create automatic playlists for your music and the video player even lets you change playback speeds. It can even convert your video files to other formats. All right, now let's move on to sharing and syncing features. Again, each service excels in its own thing. For example, sync.com is simply better for sharing. It lets you set passwords, expiry dates, and upload limits for sharing links. You can set a link to view only so people can't download the file. It can even tell you who downloaded a file and when. pCloud doesn't quite reach those heights, but it does give you passwords and expiry dates, and it also lets you disable downloads. It also has a branding feature that lets you add a logo to your links to have a bit of a more professional appearance. But when it comes to syncing, pCloud knocks it out of the park. It uses a virtual drive that attaches to your computer and effectively extends your storage using the cloud. You can access the drive in your file explorer or on Windows or Finder on the Mac, just like any other drive. Files on that drive take up no physical space on your computer, but you do need to be online in order to access them. On the other hand, sync.com uses the traditional sync folder model where all your cloud files get downloaded to a single folder on your computer. This means you might get duplicate files on your device, which will take up extra space. pCloud also has this sync folder, but I really see the drive feature as the major selling point here. So now we come to security and privacy. First, let's talk about a very special security feature. Both services offer what's called zero knowledge encryption. It's a method of encryption that protects your files so that only you can ever have access to your data. Not even the company that holds your files is able to decrypt, decrypt or access them. Now sync.com covers your entire storage with zero knowledge encryption free of charge, but pCloud is different. With pCloud, you have to pay extra for zero knowledge and even then it only covers one single folder. Besides zero knowledge, you'll be happy to hear that neither service stores your files in the US. Well, pCloud gives you the option, but you can just choose basically to use its European service instead. This is great for privacy because the US has a ton of legislation that lets the government basically spy on its citizens and companies. Additionally, sync.com is HIPAA certified this means it's secure enough to hold sensitive medical data like patient histories. Of course, HIPAA compliance falls on the end of, well, user of the software, but it's encouraging to know that it's trustworthy enough to get this certification. 
Now that you know what the services are capable of, let's talk pricing. Although on paper they look similarly priced, there are a couple of key differences. We won't get into the weeds of comparing every single pricing plan, so you have those on screen um, basically for the, for the whole picture. But first, let's look at their free plans. Sync.com only gives you five gigabytes free, while pCloud offers 10 gigabytes. However, pCloud only gives you two gigabytes up front and you have to unlock the rest by doing things like installing the software and referring friends. Sync.com's free storage also comes with zero knowledge encryption, so it's more secure than basically pCloud's free plan. In terms of paid plans, both will run you about $8 a month for two terabytes of storage, but again, you'll have to pay extra for pCloud zero knowledge extension. Sync.com also has an unlimited storage option that costs $30 a month. It's technically 15 per month per user with a minimum of two users so you can share it with another person to basically split the bill if you like. On the other hand, pCloud offers lifetime subscriptions which can really really pay off. Basically you can pay a one-time fee to get access to cloud storage forever. The 500 gigabyte lifetime plan costs $175 and you can get the two terabyte lifetime plan for a one-time payment of $350. You still have to pay extra for zero knowledge, but the overall savings are still well worth, with, uh, well worth it in the long run. Who is the ultimate winner in this matchup? The answer is a resounding it depends. <laughs> Sync.com only really wins in the pricing category, but in all other aspects, the services do an equal job, each focusing on a different niche. So if you're on a tighter budget or you need the office integration, then Sync.com is better. But if you have very little hard drive space on your computer, you might want to extend that storage with pCloud's virtual drive. But in the end, with pCloud and Sync.com, do things differently enough that I really couldn't draw like a specific winner. You really have to think about, okay, what do I want? Rewatch my video and then make a decision. All right, and there you have it. That's the end of our pCloud versus sync.com comparison. If you found this video helpful, and obviously if you did, please uh, give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more cloud storage content, tune in to our channel by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. You can also visit our website where we do detailed written reviews and you'll find links to our pCloud and sync.com reviews in the description below, as well as the full written version of this comparison. If you have any feedback for us, obviously we'd love to hear your thoughts. So please drop us a comment and hopefully see you in my next video. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.